welcome to the common corner once again and welcome back if you're a regular view viewer i really appreciate you and it warms my heart to think that there are some people that return back every week to to check in and now uh, we're up to 106 1640 humans that have walked in through the door to the common corner community and i want to say welcome to all of you today I'd like to reflect a bit more on how the year has gone so far and how my practice of analog archiving has evolved through the year. It, I feel like it somehow has evolved quite a bit um, just in these three months. And I'm halfway through this book now, almost, well, almost halfway through this book. And uh, the book I'm talking about is the uh, Hobonichi Cousin Avec, so it's a six month book and we're almost to the end of March and this is how it's bulking up so far. So this is the three months worth at the end and this is the three months in the beginning. So it's bulking up quite a bit and that makes me quite happy because it means that I'm interacting with her, I'm sticking things in that I enjoy and so on. And I would actually like to do a little bit of a flip through just to help me reflect on the year a little bit. And yes, uh, all right, let's, I guess let's start from the beginning. I'll do a bit of a catch up as we go through and just enjoy a little bit of a chat. Yeah, it's also my dad's birthday today. So happy birthday, dad. <laughs> I hope you're having a fun time watching this. Um, as some of you might know, I started to make these videos for my si sisters. Uh, I have four younger sisters and all of them um, have their own books and they use them in their own ways and we love to talk about journaling together. So I started to make these videos for them to share how I'm doing kind of here in London because they live in Finland and I'm here in London and on top of that talk a bit more about my practice because that's something that we enjoy doing when we are in the same country um, but we find it difficult to sync all of our timetables together to have calls um, regularly enough to, on top of catching up, to talk about our books. So yeah, but turns out then that my parents are, have also been watching my, <laughs> my videos, which um, yeah, it makes me happy. So yes, happy birthday, dad. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. And yes, so here actually, um, every month um, I take a, scrap from the Barbican monthly magazine. Barbican is this kind of cultural center in London and they also have one of the most beautiful cinemas in my opinion. It's kind of very minimal, the best sound quality, really really nice seats that are like far away from each other so you have the all the leg room possible and they release this magazine every month to say what is upcoming in that month and I take always a scrap from their um, the part of the magazine that talks about the movies and I keep it in my monthly section so I can check out what's coming out and what I can then go to see and I've highlighted the movies here in green the new ones that are coming out and in my monthly log I highlight the movies that I've watched in green as well so that I can kind of follow that I've been getting a lot more into film like in the past year and increasingly so in 2024 so that's something that I'm really enjoying at the moment not much happening in these rest of these monthly pages yeah and kind of taking a deep breath here because it's been a long term so since we started this term I think it's like 5th of uh, January and I very quickly got ill um, as you can see here I was sick with really severe tonsillitis and as well as the Epstein-Barr virus mononucleosis it's what the disease is called for about two to three weeks in total and that really affected um, my year quite a bit but I feel like it was really truly a fresh start to my life after that because I was so ill that you know when you're just so ill that you feel like you're not quite sure if you'll make it out alive of course you will but when you're ill the honestly I'm I'm drama when I'm ill so yeah and after that I kind of promised myself that I would I don't know, change my ways a little bit um, to make the best out of every day. It sounds quite cliche, but I felt like I, I really, really got the motivation to do that. So, yeah. Oh, it's lovely to see these really relaxed weeks. 
<laughs> because the last few weeks when term has been kind of closing down and the deadlines have approached it's been getting really 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 busy as i might have mentioned uh, in the last few videos but i'm really glad that i've still managed to come on here on a weekly basis to to chat and kind of reflect on what's been happening and still find the time to talk about my notebook because this is something that i love so much and i'm so passionate about it so yeah okay so here we're already in march this was last week so we're now on the sunday of this week here so it's the 24th currently it's 10 30 and i have about 20 more minutes um before i have a tutoring lesson to do because i recently started a new job um where i'm tutoring kids um in biology so i have very unusually i have a lesson on a weekend because i'm going away next week to france and because of that i'm i'm doing one of the lessons during the weekend which is a bit abnormal but i was like itching to to talk about my kind of year so far before i had my lesson i was like i can't wait until the lesson's over <laughs> so yeah um this was last week uh i think it was probably the busiest week of the year i thought the previous week would have been the busiest because i had to do this 30 page report on a patient um but i think it ended up being this week that was the busiest um where i was kind of working from about like nine to eight every day which is quite un unusual i don't really usually work that much at all but luckily i had a couple of like social things happening and um, so the social things are in in red here um and i kind of got to relax a little bit during those times and take a breath but i'm noticing i'm very much running on this kind of adrenaline rush of like finishing everything off finishing all the deadlines and look at next week empty this is when i'm gonna be in france um fully fully relaxing fully visiting all the possible cafes and just writing my heart out reading and finishing up my books that i've been wanting to finish for ages etc yes and now we get to my daily pages um i have my usual key here and i think this has been working quite well it's i i haven't found myself to need any other um kind of categories to to mark i do i have been using increasingly this kind of notations and things to remember with the red sticker because there's been so much happening my brain has been going 100 miles per hour on a daily basis and that includes also a lot of new ideas on how i want to develop my practice what i want to keep sharing to to people who are interested um so this is going to be seen increasingly as the days go by um and yeah and talking about how busy kind of the last few weeks have been um i used to really struggle with with that kind of a schedule in the past few years because medical school i think is is never quite relaxed there's always something that you can keep doing always something that kind of a project or a piece of research that you can keep working on and i think that can get quite 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 tiring um and in the previous years so i'm now in third year but in like first and second year i found myself kind of really letting go of all the things that i enjoyed as i was just trying to get from day to day like and making sure that i was completing all my assignments and stuff but that actually got really really challenging and on top of that i wasn't doing the things that i was enjoying but now i think since i started archiving like analog having a physical book to put my thoughts and feelings and memories on that has become such a sacred thing for me to do every day so even now in the past few weeks that have been the busiest out of the whole academic year every day i was still finding myself tuning in literally every day and i think like that really carried me it, i found myself like being able to rest as i was writing and like really allowing myself that um and i'm so grateful <laughs> i'm so grateful for that really yeah oh i'm now just like really enjoying this flip through because i've been wanting to flip through what i've done so far in the year because i feel like as i started this this new book in january 
Um, I took away so many lessons from my first ever Hobonichi Tetra Hobonichi Kazanavec, um, the twenty twenty three one. Um, I took so many lessons away from that and feel like I finally got to implement all of that. And now, like my books are just really looking a lot. Like I, I love how they're looking at the moment. Um, it really feels like me. Now we're in February. Uh, in February, things started to get a bit better. Gratitude for recovery. Yeah, I was, I was feeling a bit more healthier, and that really changed the way that I approached, approached my my daily life, kind of. Things started to be a bit more balanced. I really made sure to integrate balance into my life. Um, that's a lot more difficult. Um, as a medical student, when there's like something that you can... I, I'm sure in like a lot of fields, there's things that you can always be working on. Um, but kind of writing those things down, writing the feelings down, it allows you to look at it and extract those emotions and those ideas and then put them into practice once you've been able to extract them from the pages. If that makes sense, yeah. Uh, you're gonna see a couple of these empty boxes, which are pages that I didn't finish filling out on the day. And why I'm so excited for this spring holiday. So I finished term just now on Friday, it's Sunday now, but I've been working through the weekend because I have some projects that I'm finishing up before I go on a true holiday holiday on Tuesday. And I expect that kind of empty time that we're gonna have, um, empty relaxed time that we're gonna have in Nice in France, uh, that it's gonna be something where I can take some of it and really go back in and fill in these things in like a relaxed, reflective way. So these are all gonna be filled in in the next week or so. Uh, the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year. <laughs> A, a Hong Kong style pineapple bun <laughs> sticker that I got from one of the New Year's markets. <laughs> Once again here, some backfilling to do. Hmm. I needed to make this list for myself <laughs> to what I can refer back to when I'm by myself and I need to just look at something and have my like my my past self tell me what to do um for the evening just so that I can kind of make a positive use of that time or make a relaxed use of that time and feel refreshed by the end of it so since I have that note to self sticker here to refer back to it in the future and here apparently I've made a review on the oranges from co-op which is one of the grocery store chains here in the UK uh, one and a half stars out of five. So I don't recommend the co-op oranges. I recommend, unsurprisingly, either Marks and Spencer's or Waitrose oranges. Those are the kind of more expensive grocery stores in London, but unsurprisingly, their oranges are better. <laughs> Absolutely love these illustrations. Um, you'll kind of see them popping up every now and then in the books. <laughs> oh, I have good memories from from the end of like February and yeah. Oh, really nice. And then it's March, which we're almost at the end of by now. One of the really nice things that came out of this month was that I visited this kind of fashion house Dover Street Market for the first time that's in central London and for anyone who knows the place might not know that on the top floor there's a really beautiful calm cafe in the most recent post on my Instagram I I took a photo of me journaling there and it's really beautiful they have really delicious coffee and all of these vegan uh, pastries and cakes and stuff highly recommend um, the actual clothes there are like all designer and stuff and really expensive but they're really beautifully curated in the space so even if you're someone like me a student who doesn't have money to spend on designer clothes uh, you can still go and enjoy it and and have a coffee on the top floor so yeah <laughs> i think here one thing that i've been 
this is something really little it might not matter to a lot of people but to me um something that i've been reflecting a lot is my the pen that i used to use which is the pilot friction um erasable black pen which i think quite a lot of people on the journal youtube do use because you can erase it so in that way you can perfect your book a bit um but i notice how like inconsistent it is like this is the same pen as here i don't know if it shows up on the camera but here the the ink is really dark whereas here it's almost gray so because of that i've st slowly started to think about changing my pen and i mentioned that last week as well and now i've been using this muji pen in black the same kind of size as the friction so 0 0.7 millimeters and i have been loving it I have been loving it. I didn't even realize how what like things I was compromising on with the pilot friction because like things would smudge if there was even a little bit of I don't know like water that dropped on the page it would like get rid of the ink completely. Um, sometimes when I would highlight things mm, this is not the perfect example but sometimes when I would highlight things it would like smudge the Oh, why am I okay I can't find a good example but often if I would highlight the text right after I've written um, it would completely smudge it and I, then I would re have to rewrite the text on top of it <laughs> but this was that doesn't happen with this pen I think because it's not erasable the ink is somehow a little bit more permanent um, maybe goes into the page a bit more not sure actually what the science of the ink is but it, it it sticks on better it doesn't smudge it dries really quickly it's darker and more consistent so the ink is consistent rather than here it's kind of quite dark and here it's almost gray and kind of fading out so yeah uh you, you can see it like when i start to use it so uh, once again here look this is the same pen these two are the same pen but they look it varies from day to day which is really strange <laughs> yeah Here's another one. I, this is not by Atelier Bauwell, the same one that I mentioned earlier, but a really similar kind of illustration that you can find on Pinterest if you search for Atelier Bauwell and similar illustrations will come up. Um, and I've been thinking about homes a lot recently. Um, uh, this is this is one by Atelier Bauwell. Yes, I've been thinking about homes a lot recently because I'm, I've been living in my current home for almost two years, so about one and a half years now, a bit more than that, with my current flatmate. Um, but I'm thinking of moving out to move with my partner uh, in about four months or so, in August. And of course my home situation is going to change, and because me and my partner have a bit more similar style in terms of how we like the space to look like, I'm going to have a lot more freedom in terms of decorating rather than confining it just to my own room. So yeah, I've been I've been thinking about homes a lot recently and what I would want my future home to look like, um, what kind of things I would like to include in it, what kind of feeling I wanted to have, etc. Yeah. <laughs> when I started kind of dreaming about Nice, um, I, I'm pretty sure this one is not this specific big photo is not from Nice but it's from some little town in France but I hope I'll get to have some some greenery in there I hope to visit cute little cafes such as this and I don't know just be in like a free mind space uh, I'm just very excited I'm gonna uh, take a little um, I think I'm gonna take this one I have this little pouch um, that I kind of carry with me day to day. I'm gonna reorganize this pouch to just include the things that I want to use when I'm traveling so that I can just carry my book and not have to bring with me the usual like folders and stuff that I have when I'm at home. And we're coming to this week. I feel like I'm taking a deep breath at the end of this week because it was it was a really really busy day busy week busy week um, and at the end of our hospital placements at the end of every hospital placement we have this kind of um, remediation I'm not sure if that's the word but basically one of the consultants so the highest um, the most experienced doctors they talk to us about how 
we've done during that placement, our performance, um, our motivation, um, our professionalism, etc., etc., and they give us a grade on the placement and our skills, etc. And I had mine on Friday, and I was I was anxious. I was really nervous about it. Um, we have to submit this logbook of like over thirty six different forms, including everything that we've done during the placement, and they kind of have a look through it and they chat with us about it, etc. So. Whew. Yeah, it it felt like a lot um, and everything kind of has been leading up to Friday, so day before yesterday. And I feel like I still haven't quite caught my breath after that, um, but I'm going to try and write more. I'm going to write more and I'm going to finally begin my journaling book, which I decorated in last week's video alongside my commonplace book. I wanted to show you updates this week already, but turns out I haven't even touched them in the whole week. I've only been finishing up my fifth commonplace, which is the one from the uh, winter time, and it's literally down to the last page, I think. No, not quite down to the last page. Okay, second to last page. Um, and then this is done, but I need to write. I, I'm gonna find time this today to maybe go outside to a cafe after I've done my, my IB tutoring lessons and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna write and that's gonna help me catch my breath. <sighs> and that's something that I've learned through this year um, with all the challenges of, challenges of being ill and then catching up with university after that and kind of starting a new job and starting to make videos. Um, life has been busy, but I found balance within that busyness and I, I, I will dramatically say that I owe it all to, to this practice of archiving in an analog way. So, yes. Ah, thank you to that. And I have a lot of reflections on how I'm going to continue on from here. I want to continue including those movie stops, um, drawn movie stops in my daily pages. Um, something that I'd also like to do is maybe intentionally take a break from journaling like once every two weeks or something like that just to see how those days would go if I don't write anything at all and then go back and do one of these backfill pages that I talked about a few videos back. Um, let me see. One of these backfilled pages because I really enjoyed making that but now that I'm journaling every day I don't have a chance to do this backfill page <laughs> so yes so I'm gonna keep going with the movie stubs I'm going to take a break every two weeks or so to have a chance to make one of these backfill pages and see how it feels to not write for a full day because I've been doing writing every day for like I think it's now like 10 11 months or so so yeah, um, I'm gonna make like a celebration video when it's my one year anniversary of restarting my journey in in notebooks. So definitely that's gonna be happening in uh, about a month. Exactly in about a month. Oh, I'm really excited. Yes, so talking about the movies, I'm gonna be including those movie stubs in my daily pages, as I'm saying for like the third or fourth time. But I'm also gonna be making commonplace pages about those movies because I, at the moment, the only reviews that I'm making are book related reviews and I keep them keep them all kind of in the front of the book as shown in my previous one and I use these printouts from Megan and um, which I've mentioned previously and I keep them all kind of taped in in the book so that they're all kind of in the same location I'm gonna do the same thing in my next commonplace book but the movie reviews I'm going to make my own Kind of page layout for them print out a lot of different like scenes my favorite scenes talk about them etc and make these beautiful pages i already have this image for them but i just haven't had a chance to make any of it um yeah i'm gonna make these pages in my commonplace book so that's something new and i'm gonna be linking them to kind of the movie stuff so whenever there's a movie stop if it was a movie that was so good that i want to make a whole spread on it i'm gonna include a little notation of in which commonplace book that kind of review is going to be on. So yeah, that's one new thing. 
And I think that's kind of, I have a lot more reflections, but that's everything that comes to my mind now. And my lesson is starting in about three minutes. So I'm going to sign off. I might come back to just say a few more words at the end. Um, but yes, until then, bye bye. So there's a lot of kind of changes happening as I, well, not a lot, but you know, when you've been doing something for a long time and you've been doing it the same way, now that I'm kind of, I have these new reflections on how things are going to be going on in the future, such as changing my commonplace book and then using my commonplace book in a bit more traditional way to using it in the way that it was met, like done uh, originally, which is to collect text and quotes um, and notes from other places rather than your own brain. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to be using it in that way. And then I have this new book only for journaling. And I think that's quite a big change. So things are going to be a bit more structured um, than they used to be. So yeah, I'm quite excited for that. And yeah. And then one thing, one more thing that I'll mention here, but I have no idea if it's going to start happening, if I'll have the time for it, etc. Is that I've noticed that there's certain things that I'm lacking that I would like to have for my journal. So for example, the, the little kind of movie stubs that I draw into my book. For example, here there's two movie stubs that I've drawn into my book. I would love to have these movie stubs like as something that I can just like as a sticker or something that I can just cut out and just fill in. So a little bit similarly to my to the printouts that I've gotten from Megan Rhiannon, as I've mentioned multiple times before here. Similarly to these book stickers or printouts, I'd like to make my own little movie stops. Um, I think that's something that I'm going to work on. Um, yeah. And if anyone's interested, I think I might uh, share those as well, so other people can use it as well. Um, yeah, I haven't found anything like that from and like online yet, so I might just make my own. So yes, all right. And finally, then the plan for next week is that I'm going away um, for the entirety of this week. So we're here at the moment on the twenty fourth, but I'm going away for this whole time. And I'm coming back late Sunday. And usually Sundays are the days when I like to talk to my people here. Um, but I'm going to have to do it on the Monday. So next week's video is not going to be next week. It's going to be on the Monday in the following week. So a little bit of a different time schedule. But yeah, I think that's going to be okay. As long as I kind of enjoy the routine in making these videos. I think that's what's most important for me. So yeah. Thank you for tuning in once again. I hope that you'll have a lovely and calm rest of your day. Remember that everything is okay and just take some deep breaths. I'm also telling myself this. <laughs> we'll end on this minimal layout and I will see you in a bit more than a week with probably a lot of things filled in here. So I'm excited to share that and I'll talk a bit more about my trip as well and share some photos here. So. I hope that you'll have the chance to tune into that as well. All right, bye bye for now, and I'll see you in a just a little bit of time. Bye bye. <laughs>